ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ವಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷೀಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರು ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇತ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಕಾರ್ಯಕರ್ತೃತ್ವ ಹೇತು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿರುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪುರುಷ ಸುಖದುಃಖ ಭೋಕ್ತೃತ್ವ ಹೇತು ರುಚ್ಯತೆ ಐ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಕರ್ತೃತ್ವ ಹೇತು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿರುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪುರುಷ ಸುಖದುಃಖ ಭೋಕ್ತೃತ್ವ ಹೇತು ರುಚ್ಯತೆ see the word meaning in the production of the effect and cause hetu the cause prakriti means prakriti uchyate is said to be purushah the purushah sukha dukha nam of pleasure and pain bhoktritve in the experience hetu the cause ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಇಜ್ ಸ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸಿ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದಿ ಕಾಜ್ ದ ಸಾಲ್ ಇಜ್ ಕಾಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಏಜ್ ಎಂಜಾಯರ್ಶಿಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋರೊ ಇಜ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ out of six topics shri krishna had completed four so two topics are remaining the topics are prakriti and the purusha so he started talking about prakriti and the purusha in previous verse we have heard that prakritim purusham chaiva vidyanadi ubhavapi he started from previous verse so what is the prakriti and what is the purusha and what is its work so here there are some common features between the purusha and prakriti and there are some uncommon features between them so when i say here purusha it is a very technical word you can understand that like individual so when is it word prakriti you can understand as a maya it would be easy to you 
so there are some common features between the prakriti and the purusha the what are the common features the so common features are first is the both are beginningless in previous verse we have studied anadi bhavati anadi means beginningless so purusha is beginningless as well as prakriti also is beginningless so one common feature is they both are beginningless and another feature he is giving here sri krishna karya karana kartrutve hetu prakriti ruchyate purusha sukh dukhanam hetru hetu bhoktitve hetu ruchyate so another common feature is that is cause for the world so both are the cause for world but how see कार्य करण कर्तृत्व हेतु प्रकृति सो प्रकृति द माया इज कॉज कॉज फॉर व्हाट माया इज कॉज फॉर कार्य एंड करण सम एडिशंस यू मे फाइंड देयर इज वर्ड कारण कार्य कारण कर्तृत्व एंड समवेयर देयर आर वर्ड लाइक कार्य करण कर्तृत्व बोथ आर करेक्ट so the prakriti is cause prakriti is cause cause for cause for karya and karan karya means our body our body so our body is karya effect karya means effect so our body is effect so it is a intrinsic cause is maya in our body there are many causes if you ask religions religious scriptures they would say the cause for the body is your activity your actions your deeds what is cause for our body the religion which would say you have this body because of your previous activity there are so many schools so many thoughts they would explain it what the cause for the body let it be the intrinsic cause of the body the material cause of the body that is the prakriti that is the maya so material cause of the body is prakriti and we have heard that the five great elements we are they are because of the maya so body the effect of the five great elements so that is our body is also effect of the prakriti another varna is karan actually karan is the good word karan means means equipments equipments devices so our five gyanendriya sense organs organ of actions intellect mind these are the karan the equipment the device so bhagwan says here hetu prakriti vrichyate they are out of the prakriti karya karana kartrutte hetu prakriti vrichyate so prakriti you can say the maya is the cause for our body and for our sense organs action organs our intellect our mind because these are the equipments equipment for what equipment for the experience it may be good experience it 
would be bad experience but we need to any to have any experience we need a body we need sense organs we need organ of action we need intellect we need mind then we can have any experience so prakriti is the cause this way karyakarana karatrutte hetu prakriti ruchyate so prakriti the maya is the cause for the world now he is saying how the god is the soul is the cause for the world purusha sukha dukha nam bhoktritve hetu ruchyate purusha individual soul purusha here means pur means the body body the consciousness which is inside the body that is the purusha what purusha does what the purpose of the purusha sukh dukha nam hi bhoktritve hetu ruchyate the purusha the individual soul is the cause for experience happiness and misery the question is who is experiencing who is experiencer obviously eyes are not experiencer obviously body are is not experience very apparently you can understand that if you are in deep sleep any experience cannot take place if body is in condition of coma or anesthesia pain is there but body cannot experience body body cannot feel it body cannot feel so body is not experience our sense organs are also not experience mind is also not experience intellect as well as not experience so they are the medium the means of the experience only purusha the individual soul is experiencer so purusha sukh dukha nam bhoktritve hetu ruchyate the only purusha the individual soul is experiencer through the mind through the intellect through the sense organs through the body so experiencer is the individual soul so nature is not experiencer nature is experienced you can experience the beautiful view you can experience the beautiful beaches the greenery the ocean the himalayas so he who is the experience experiencer is the individual soul and what is the meaning of the word world does not mean the mountains world does not means the sun the galaxies the earth the water the fire world means our experience if you are experiencing then there is a world if there is no any experiencer then there is no world so world means someone is experiencing someone is experiencing then there is a world if there is no any experiencer then there is no world at all so that is why purusha is cause for the world through the experiencing now next one पुरुषा प्रकृति स्थो ही भुंगते प्रकृति जान गुणान 
Karanam guna sangosya sad sad yoni janmasu. I repeat it again. Purusha sukha dukkhanam, purusha prakriti stohi bhunkte prakriti jan gunan, karanam guna sangosya sad asad yoni janmasu. See. <clears throat> See the word meaning. Purusha, the purush, the individual soul. Now I would say individual soul. Prakritista, seated in Prakriti. He indeed, Bhumte enjoys. Prakriti Jan, born of Prakriti, Gunan qualities. Karanam, the cause. Guna Sangha, attachment to the qualities. As of this, Shad Asad Yoni, Shu, of birth in good and evil. Booms. Now see the translation. Since the soul is associated with the nature, therefore it experiences the quality born of nature. Contact with the quality is the cause of its birth in good and evil booms. In previous verse, we were discussing that there are common feature between the Prakriti and the Purusha. So there are two common features. One is both are beginningless. Another is both are the cause for the world. And there are some uncommon features. Uncommon features, I would like to uh, give some names. First uncommon feature is between both. That is the Purusha, the individual soul is consciousness. It is a conscious. And Prakriti is the unconscious. This is the uncommon feature. Purusha is the Chetan, conscious. But nature is not conscious. Our body is not conscious. It may appear like conscious. Our mind may appear like conscious. Our intellect may appear like conscious, but they are not conscious. So first uncommon feature is the individual soul is conscious. And uh, the Prakriti is unconscious. Second, second uncommon, uncommon feature is the consciousness is without modification. There is no any changes in the Purusha, in the soul, in the individual. There is no any changes. There is no any modification. But in the Prakriti, Prakriti is with the modification, Savikar. Under one. Prakriti is with the modification. It always changes. Always. So wherever changes are taking place, this is not the consciousness. This is not self. And third one is the Purusha, the individual soul is free from the attributes. There is no any attribute, but in the Prakriti, there are attributes, qualities. And fourth one is the Purusha, the self, the individual self is independent. Nothing is required. But nature is not independent. It needs something. Your body wants your support. So there are four uncommon features. Sri Krishna says here, Arjun, Purusha, Prakriti, Stohi, Bhunkte, Prakriti, Jan, Guna. The Purusha, the individual soul, experiences the quality of the Prakriti. 
The question is why? If you are hungry, then you eat, you eat food. If foods are needed, then you eat, start collecting. If there is no hunger, why should I eat the food? The question is, Purusha is complete. You know, what is requirement? Why Purusha is interested to get experience from the Prakriti? Sri Krishna says, it's called Prakritistha. Purusha Prakritisthohi. Prakritistha means when this individual soul becomes identified with the body, with the mind, with the sense organs, with the organ actions, then you can say, this is the experiencer. Really, this is not experiencer. In itself, it is not. But when it becomes identified, Prakritistho, Istha means when it becomes associated with the Prakriti. Prakriti means the body. Prakriti means the mind. Prakriti means intellect. Prakriti means the sense organs, organ of actions. Then I become the experiencer. If I can separate myself from the body, if I can separate from myself from the sense organs, mind, I am not the experiencer. I am experiencer of the world because I am identified, I am associated with the Prakriti. See, like there is pure water, very pure water. There is a pure milk, they both are pure. Both are pure. But when we mix, they become impure. So impurity is not because of the water, not because of the milk. They both, in separation, they both are pure. But when we mix, mixture is impure. So Prakriti in itself is good. Purusha in itself is perfect. But when they mix Prakritistha, I am experiencing this emotion. I am angry. Anger is happening in the mind. Love is happening in the mind. Emotions are in the mind. Decisions are taking place in the intellect, but because of the association with the intellect, I becomes the experience. This decision is made by me. So Sri Krishna says, Purusha prakriti stohi bhunte prakriti jan gunan. It experiences when it becomes identified, otherwise not. Okay, if it is experiencer, then there is no problem. What is the problem? If I am watching a beautiful beach, what is the problem? If I am watching very beautiful the springs, the trees, the ocean, the Himalayas, the mountains, what is the problem? If I am living in the world, what is the problem? Sri Krishna says, there is no any problem. Problem begins, karanam guna sangosya. If you just experience, like when you see the mirror, in mirror there is your reflection. There is no problem for you. You are not in the mirror. In the mirror, there is your reflection, not you. So what is problem? 
no problem. But if I am in the cage, I am locked, then problem begins. So experiencing the world is not problem. Problem begins, Sri Krishna said, Guru Sangha. When I started, attachment. I started thinking, this I want, this I don't want. I need it. This condition, this condition I want again and again. This person I want, this property I want, this, 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 that, that I want, I want, and this I don't want. So this attitude, this attitude is cause for the world. The only thing is this attitude. I want this and see your capability. See your capability, whatever you want, you will get in the future. So whatever we are right now, this is not because of the God, this is because of your own, your own desire. Your personality is your demanding. Guna Sangosya Sad Asad Yoni Janmasu. Then we will take the next life. It may be higher, it may be lower. Sad Asad Yoni Su. Now, next one. Upadrashtanu Mantacha Bharta Bhokta Maheshwaraha Paramatmiti Chap Yukta Dehe asmin purusha paraha. I repeat again it. Upadrashta numantacha bharata bhokta maheshwara paramatmiti chapyukto dehe asmin purusha paraha. Very, very important mantra. Very, very important. See the word meaning. Upadrashta. The spectator, Anumanta, the permitter, Cha end, Bharata, the sustainer, Bhokta, the experience, Maheshwara, the great lord, Paramatma, the supreme self, Iti, thus, Cha end, Api also, Yukta is called Deh in the body. Asmin in this Purushaha, the Purushaha, para the Supreme. See the translation. He who is the witness, the permitter, the sustainer, the experiencer, the great Lord, and who is also spoken of as the Transcendental Self is the Supreme Person in this body. Now, the subject matter has come. Here, hidden question is, O oh Krishna, you are talking about the Purusha, individual soul, the consciousness, Chaitanya. I want to know where it is. I cannot experience any entity like this. I am not watching anything. I am not feeling anything. I am not experiencing such a reality. Where should I watch it? Sri Krishna says, do not look at the sky. Do not think about the Vaikunt. Do not think about far away. Sometimes, 
see the see the direct approach of lord sri krishna he is not saying go somewhere else in the sacred places he says arjun in this body dehismin if you want to experience that reality i am re repeatedly saying purusha 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 this means or means your body the dweller in your body so do not look at here and there dehis mean your body is the temple your body is the best place not only for you even for the god so in this body dehis mean so and sri krishna is giving step by step knowledge of the maheshwara in the upanishad you may have heard about the mahavakya the mahavakya tattvamasi you are that in this verse sri krishna is saying same thing they both are seated in your body he is saying similar similar thought in that mahavakya there is tat and tvam here also sri krishna is giving same message same a method is also same first try to understand what is the individual soul so where it the individual soul in this body in this body we tried so many time to find out the consciousness in this body but we didn't find anything in this body we find the blood the heart liver kidney nerve system digestive system respiratory system there are so many things and we discovered we researched but we didn't find anything sri krishna says yes you would find in this body but not this math by this method i am giving to the another method so first he is describing about the individual soul upadrashta first he is giving the meaning he says upadrashta upadrashta means spectator spectator means doing nothing you can say sakshi witness doing nothing so first thing is he is doing nothing upadrashta spectator so whatever is happening it is not done by the self our body is doing something our sense organs are doing mind is doing intellect is doing but the soul the consciousness is not doing anything one thing upadrashta just a spectator i sir watching i sir watching mind is thinking but in presence of the self so that is our in spectator so first definition is this is a spectator another is anumanta anumanta 
द सेल्फ गिव्स परमिशन यू कैन थिंक दिस वे यू आर वॉचिंग सम ब्यूटिफुल सीन very beautiful object and suddenly you got desire to attain it i want it so i is is involved this is very beautiful then mind says yes i should take this i should have it then intellect will give support intellect will say no problem i have money to buy it i have money i can buy it we can buy it it is possible so our body is ready sense organs are ready intellect is ready mind is ready everything is in a line but sometimes your self is not ready self will say no i am not interested leave it next time i will see it next time so you are not ready and you denied everything you denied everything mind was ready intellect body i everything was in line but you denied no today uh, next time i will see so last permission is of souls so this is the permitter another shri krishna says bharata bharata means supporter it gives support to the body it gives support to the mind it gives support to the sense organs it gives support to the everyone everything it gives support without its support body will not remain we can see after death what happens with the body so it is supporter bharta and lastly is giving enjoyer bhokta bhokta in kenu upanishad there is very beautiful mantra kene sitam preshitam manah who is inspiring the mind who is inspiring the intellect the answer is only self in this verse shri krishna included everything in this verse shri krishna condensed everything he is upadrashta anumanta bharata bhokta and as i told you in this verse there are so many philosophy of schools philosophy because i am not interested go to deep in this philosophy but here i have to go there upadrashta is the concept of the vedanta the individual soul is not doing anything just expect it but another another philosophy is sankhya sankhya says it is anuman anumanta permitter it permits to nature to create how does it permits it permits like this you put uh, the a piece of the magnet a piece of the iron when they are in designated distance destination distance and immediately immediately actions takes place in the piece of the iron same anumanta another philosophy is nyaya logic they accept that 
in the self, there are desires. There are 14 qualities. So this is support Bharata. And Bhokta, the person who does not believe in the God, they don't understand that there is a God. They say only there is the body with the combination of the chemicals. It appears like consciousness. In this verse, Sri Krishna put Sri Krishna puts everything. Here is a Vedanta, here is a Nyaya, philosophy, Mimansa, everything he puts. Charvak. So Sri Krishna says, in this body, the individual soul is Maheshwaraha. Maheshwara, the ultimate pure consciousness. Pure consciousness. They are not two. Paramatma iti chapyukto, that same reality is the Paramatma. That very same reality, which is the Upadrashta, Anumanta, Bharata, Bhukta, the same reality is Paramatma. There are not two realities. Now, next one. Ya evam viti purusham. Prakritim chagunai saha Sarvata vartamanupi Nasabhuyo vijayate. I repeat. Ya evam viti purusham Prakritim chagunai saha Sarvata vartamanupi Nasabhuyo vijayate. See the word meaning. Yaha, who evam thus viti knows. Purusham, the Purusha, or spirit. Prakritim, the Prakriti, cha and Gunai quality, Saha with Sarvata in all ways, Vartamana living, Api also not. Sahi, Bhuya again, Avijayate, it born. See the translation. He who knows thus the person and the nature along with the qualities of qualities will not be born again in whatever way he may live. So this is the glory of the knowledge. Knowledge is a remedy. There is no other way. Upanishads are uh, continuously reciting Nanya Pantha Vidyate Yenaya. There is no other way. You have to know there is no other way, no other way. Whatever you do. Yeah, evam beti. So knowledge the remedy. Whoever, whoever, anyone can come in this category. Anyone can come in this category. It may be Brahman, it may be Kshatriya, it may be a child, it may be young, old, Sanyasi, Grast. No any difference. Ya evam beti purusham prakritim chagunaisa. The only, only remedy is we have to know that reality. Today or tomorrow, day after, after years, after births, evam bhitti. Whoever knows that, this reality, reality, this the nature and this the consciousness. Do not mix. Do not mix. They are not mixed. Be mix it. This is the world. This is the cause for the world. This is the cause for the everything. The only thing is, we know, we must know this is the nature, this is the prakriti, this is the consciousness. They both are separate. Sometimes you may be confused. This is the consciousness. Sometimes matter looks like this. But see, matter and energy, 
are the same. Energy means the uh, chidabhas. I can say chidabhas. It is a reflection of the consciousness. So matter and the chidabhas are one, the same. The stages are different. Think each same. Like when you are in child, your body is very different. When you are young, body becomes different. When you are old age, again, body appears very different. But you are the same. So energy and the matter, even science also agree, they are one in different states. So we have to understand that this is the nature and this is the consciousness. Only this is the knowledge. Nothing required. Then saravatha vartamanu pi nasabhu yopi jayate. Then what you are doing, it makes no difference. Where you are li living, what is your profession? What is your age? What is your activity? They become zero. You are above, above that state. There is just zero. Because nothing is going to give you something. Your good activity will not give you anything. Your good activity will not give you heaven. Your bad activity will not give you hell. Sarvatha vartamanopi, wherever you are living, wherever, in every way. So your living makes no difference. Your actions are useless. No matter. Sarvatha vartamanopi. So there is no need to change the world. No need to change the work. No need to change your uh, superficial life. Sarvatha Vartamanupi. Live wherever you are living. Nasabhu yobhi jayate. That person will not take the birth again. That person will liberate. All things are just superficial. Our other things are just superficial. So this knowledge is a remedy. This knowledge is the essence. Sri Krishna says, Arjun, this is the Prakriti and the Purish. And you can find out in your body there is a consciousness. And the same consciousness, if you can understand, you will get that that is the Paramatma. This is the liberation. Now, next. Dhyanen Atmani Pashyanti Kechi Tatmanatmana Anne Sankhen Yogena Karma Yogena Chapare. I repeat Dhyanen Atmani Pashyanti Kechi Tatmanatmanaha Anne Sankhen Yogena Karma yogin chapare. See the word meaning. Dhyanena by meditation. Atmani in the heart. Pashanti behold. Kechit sam. Atmanam the self. Atmana by the self. Anne others. Shankhena yogena. By the yoga of knowledge. Karma yoga in by karma yoga cha in apare others. See the word meaning. Now translation. Through meditation, some realize and shame in their intellect with the help of the eternal organs. Others through the shank yoga and others through karma yoga. Sri Krishna said. Arjun, this is the final statement. You have to have the knowledge. 
then only replay realization can happen. There is no other way. Now, the question is, if I am not ready to achieve, to understand this state, if I am not ready to digest this highly, highly knowledge, I am not ready, then what is the path for me? And there are so many, so many seekers. There are unlimited, unlimited seekers of the spirituality. They are not ready to accept this reality. For what? For them, what the path? For them, Sri Krishna gives the path. Again, he had said, this is the path. Sooner or later, you have to come here. This is the path. But if you are not ready, like if there is a child and you interview, you interview child, then you take decision, yes, I can put this child in this class. In this class, this child is fit. Same, ask yourself. Nothing wrong if you are not ready to accept this reality. Nothing wrong. Wrong is if you are not starting your journey. Sri Krishna says, Varchun, if you cannot digest this knowledge, there are unlimited seekers of spirituality. They have chance. Everyone have everyone has chance to go there. So if you are not ready to accept that reality, so there are so many, so many, so many seekers, and some seekers, kechit, kechit means some. Dhyanen atmani pasyanti atmana atmanam. Start meditating. Here Sri Krishna. The word Atma, he is using three times. Atmani, Atmana, Atmanam. It becomes very confusing. What is the meaning? You cannot go through the translation. Translation is not enough. So here we have to understand Dhyanena by meditation, the path of the yoga the path of the Tantra, the path of the devotion. There are so many paths. And Sri Krishna is quoting Dhyanena does not mean only meditation. He says, May, there are many paths. Dhyanena by concentration. Atmana Atmanam by intellect. Self by the intellect they meditating. Atmana, Atmanam, Pashyanti, Pashyanti, they try to realize it. They try to realize self in the mind, in the intellect, through the intellect. Anne Sankhena, other one, they are not meditating, they are not have devotion to the uh, any particular God, they can have another path. That path is Sankhya Yoga. Sankhya Yoga means like when we started the reading Vedanta, there is fourfold qualities. Fourfold qualities. Sham, Dham, Sraddha, Tatiksha, Samadhan, Vivek, Vairagya. So other people are practicing for them. So some people are practicing for the Sravan Manan Nididhyasan. Others are practicing for the meditation, for yoga, tantra, chanting, reciting, pilgrimage. They are doing it in such way. And other karma yoga in a cha parihe. If you are not able to do the meditation, 
you are not ready to do the sadhana chatushta fourfold qualities then you have to start your journey with your action karma yoga karma yoga make your actions devotion surrender to the god we have we have uh, studied so many times about karma yoga so it is easier it is for everyone everyone can do that this karma yoga is the medium so shri krishna says arjun if the seeker is not ready to accept that reality he is not he is not able to separate the prakriti and the purusha then there are other path to start there is a meditation there is a study of the vedanta there is the karma yoga so anyone according to your capacity you start trying but ultimately the path is this om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shanti 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 shankaram shankaracharyam keshavam vadarayanam sutra bhashikritau bande bhagavantau puna puna ishvaro gururatmeti murti bheda vibhagine vyom vad vyapta dehaya dakshina murtaye namaha om shanti 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 narayanam namaskritya naram chaiva narottamam devim saraswatim vyasam tato jayamudirayeta om shanti shanti sh